Hi, I'm Landon Liberon of Hemlock Grove. Hi, I'm Bill Skarsgård. I'm in Hemlock Grove. As well. Cool. Well, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> this, this is quite a change from the time that I was uh, back on the grassy. It's, it's a huge, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different um, uh, beast, you know, it's, uh, Degrassi was a, a 30 minute, dare I say, soap opera, you know, um, and Hemlock Grove is a, you know, an hour long drama, heady, dark, twisted, you know, piece of weirdness. <laughs> and it is, it's, it's, it's it, you know, like it's, you know, uh, I, 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 I can't say that I enjoyed one experience more than the other. They were both very unique and, and very, important to me uh, and, and, and I it's, it's just about uh, it's about the character you know it's like I really enjoy both characters mm -hmm. when I was uh, when I was going uh, when I was uh, auditioning for for, uh, for for Peter and Hemlock Grove it, I wasn't it wasn't about the genre piece it wasn't about it being horror it was about how great this world was you know and how and how great Peter as a character is and and so I was really excited just about telling this story. Um, I mean the, uh, the the supernatural world per se isn't something that I feel is difficult to do. Um, it's a trend now that's in a lot of movies and a lot of TV shows, but I don't think as an actor it's not a you know bigger of a ch challenge than anything else. Uh, most of the supernatural things are actually easier to do because the characters are so poorly written. Um, but but the characters are what? Poorly written. Okay. Uh, they're very plain and very simple. Um, uh, but uh, this show is not more than that. I think that the characters are very uh, uh, complex and very solid, and that's always the biggest challenge for me as an actor to do. And not not like being just being a supernatural per se is, uh, is, is 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 not the important thing. It's 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 not it's not. You know, it, it's kind of there to elevate the characters rather than just for the gimmick of, it, mm -hmm. of being, being, you know, supernatural. Mm -hmm. um, so that's always where I, where I kind of go in for the, like, you know, face forward to, to kind of try to, uh, to, you know, do, like, act as best as I could and, 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 and do, 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 uh, do uh, you know, a good job uh, is to, to make it truthful and, and to try to understand this character. Um, I think... Uh Peter and Roman's relationship in season two is is uh, different because a big part of season one was them coming together so, so immediately and understanding each other so well and understanding the you know this higher level frequency that they share you know but in season two they're both dealing um, with their with their own own inner turmoil, you know, uh, a big difference with Peter in season two from season one is that in season one he's he's very con in control of, of, of his path and, and what he chooses to do. But in season two he st he starts slipping a bit and he starts losing that control of of the the, the wolf and, and of his life and, and and his family. And so, you know, he has to come back to Hemlock Grove. Um, and you know, Roman is 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 now the you know the the, the president or whatever of, of yeah the, the head of the company the that head of the company that his father built. So mm -hmm. you know, Roman is um, uh, very busy with trying to do that as good as possible. He's taking that very seriously, uh, trying to figure out what's going on with his company. And uh, you know, he's 18 years old and he's a you know the CEO of a multi-billion billion-dollar company. So it's, he's he has his plate full and. You know, on top of that, he's also uh, uh, craving human blood. <laughs> uh, so he's pretty stressed out and um, and dealing. You know, so the, the the season two starts out with two characters just dealing with their own uh, stuff, and obviously, like Lyman said, Peter characters get forced into uh, uh, you know crossing Roman's path again, and 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 having to own up to own up the to fact what that he, he did. Betrayed. Yeah, and kind of reconcile their relationship again. Um, but it's, it's it, there's a lot of it's really cool with those uh, monstrous characters because um, it's just I think what makes supernatural so fascinating is that it, it, it you have you can elevate characters higher than you could with normal people so you can give them attributes that are uh, even though there might be there might be human like based out of human feelings they're just elevated to to something that's becomes kind of magical and, and surreal and I think that's why it's so popular with, with you know with the, the, the with the audiences now is just the craving that kind of 
elevated uh, uh, reality. Yeah. Actually, when I was really obsessed with, with uh, uh, when I was young, I was really obsessed with, uh, with dragons. I, I love dragons. They're, yeah. they're just such a cool, powerful, like, uh, like like the king of the sky. You know, like it's it's. Uh, I, I was really like a really like really really obsessed with dragons. Yeah, I was into. I yeah. love dinosaurs too. Yeah. And uh, but but as uh, funny that you just reminded me when you, because I actually loved werewolves as a kid too because I had like my brother wasn't like he my brother's ten years older than me and he had uh, Gustav and he had um, uh, American Werewolf in London. And I just like semi watched it with him, and it scared him. You know, it was <laughs> so <laughs> scary. Oh my god! And uh, but it was something about that the the, the werewolf creature that I found really fascinating as a little boy too. So it's 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 always fun working with people that that you that you feel that you can learn from, uh, especially being you know um, fairly new to this and, and and maybe not new to the game, but like just at least we're, we're young and we're like. I think as an actor, you always evolve, um, so you, you you never stop learning, and you, know, you like you can always improve. Or, you know, so so uh, it's just cool to work with people uh, that that you feel that you can you know evolve from. And Landon is you know one of those too that, that I feel that I you know evolve. I want to become a better actor just for working with him.